Okay, the prices of seven race cars sold last week are listed in the table below. What is the mean value of these cars? And what is the median value of these cars? So um, this the only thing tricky about this, I think, is that um, right there's a frequency associated with each number. So you wouldn't just deal with 126,000 once um, and then 140,000 also once because 140,000 is actually listed twice. So with this in this case right here, I'm going to use the graphing calculator. I'm going to quit this right here. Um, so I, I want to enter these numbers into a list. So I hit, you know, over here is a stat button, and note if I press that, I can edit my list right here. I have some lists set up. I'm going to clear them. I go to the top heading, hit clear and enter. That clears my data. I'm going to do that for everything I have right here to have a nice clean start. So again, I'm just hitting clear and then enter. Okay, so so now I'm going to enter this data. So enter 126,000. Right, that's my first one. Okay. Then I enter 140,000, and I'm going to do that twice. So it's 140,000, then 140,000, okay. And then 180,000 once, okay. And then 400,000 twice. Sorry, it's a little slow. One more time, 400,000. Okay, and then 819,000 once. Okay, so this data is now entered into a list. I want to calculate with that. Hit second stat, and see this math over here, you want to scroll over. Mean is the third one. Hit three. So I want to hit the, I want to find the mean of list one. Hit second one, and it will give me that value. Here, though, it, and this isn't what a, it gave me the value in the list. I don't like that. Um, delete that value. I'm going to quit out of this because that, that looks too confusing for you. Sorry. So I'll hit second stat again. Scroll over to math. The mean of list one. Second one is list one. And here's my mean. So 315,000. Okay. So don't forget we entered the frequencies of each item. The median. So this is nice and easy now. Second stat. Math. Right, median is the fourth option. The median of list one, second one, is 180,000. Okay. State which of these measures of central tendency best represents the value. Justify your answer. Okay, so if we look at the spread of the data, it goes from 126 all the way up to 819,000. But most of the data is clustered within the $100,000 range, and this is 400,000 and 819,000. So the 315,000 I wouldn't actually pick because um, that that overrepresents three of the cars, uh, three, four, five of the cars, and underrepresents three of the cars. Instead, I would pick the median because of the, you know this outlier, the 819,000, um, kind of throws the mean off when you add them and divide it. The median is not thrown off by that. In fact, the median is pretty close to exactly what one of the cars is, excuse me, but also pretty close to the other three cars. It is way below the other three cars, right? But still, I like the fact that it's closer to five of the cars. I'm going to personally pick something that's closer to five of the cars than not exactly close to any of the cars, right? If I walked in with 315,000, um, I really can't buy anything close to the price range. There are cars only above my price range and cars way below it. But nothing next to it if I walk in with this amount of money. Although if I walk in with $180,000, I am dealing with cars um, that I can purchase. And of course, if you're purchasing cars for this much, I guess money is not really something you're worrying about anyway. So let's move on.